right, so starting right away here in the top map, uh, top portion of Shakuris, or Shattered Temple, excuse me, is going to be Navi Slavic. He's going to be our Red Zerg player. And already wishing good luck, good luck to uh, DRW, who is also known as Desro. And he's going to be our Orange Protoss down here at the 6 o'clock. Indeed. So uh, here we have it, guys. And, you know, Desro is a divisive community figure. He's uh, certainly known for yeah. being pretty outspoken and uh, maybe a little bit bad-mannered at times, but, uh, you know, it's always funny whenever people talk about that because he has always been the nicest and kindest guy to me in, in all of my dealings, so go figure. Mm. Um, and the thing about people who are BM in the community, when you actually meet up with, with them in real life, they're actually pretty cool. Yeah, 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 exactly. And some people play it as a character. I mean, it's, uh, it's your alternate ego. That's what the Internet is all about, hiding behind a monitor and being so, or acting like someone who you, you can act like someone who you really aren't. Right. It's and of fun. Let's talk about, you know, like Idra, whenever you talk to him on a regular basis, I mean, he's just a super nice, kind of guy. He really yeah. is. Was willing to sign autographs for whoever, and is just generally a nice guy overall. Absolutely. Well, here comes Navi Slavic. He is going to get a gas down here on 14. So, you know, uh, starting things off here against the community divisive uh, figurehead, Desro, is gonna, he's going to open up with 14 gas, 14 pool. And uh, Bank on Desro's side of things, pretty predictable. Gateway coming down to the front. We'll see gas here in just a second. In fact, there's the 75, and there's the Assimilator. So uh, nothing too out of the ordinary quite yet for Desro. We are cross positions, though. Could lend itself to a nice long game, unless either one of these players decides to uh, outright cheese, which uh, I, I'll admit I don't know too much about Slavic's play style. Uh, but Desro is known to throw in some good old-fashioned cheese every once in a while. Now, I, uh, once again, will reiterate rate that I don't have a problem with cheese. You do what you can to win. Of course, uh, just for winning this little $5 qualifier, the uh, top two people are given a free flight to the UK to compete in a $20,000 StarCraft tournament. So I, I can understand if you want to throw something cheesy in every once in a while. Not to mention, if you go to the UK tournament and you win, you actually qualify for IPL4. Yes, you do. And uh, look at this. Nice timings out of Slavic. Has those four circling, circling speed and queen right away. That speedling build uh, being used to the utmost effect, even pulling himself completely off of gas. So looks like we're going to have an expansion here in a second to follow this up. Yeah, this is totally uh, what Zerg players want to do nowadays against Perdos. You can open up with an 11 pool, or you can open up with 14 gas, 14 pool. Get those initial Zerglings out. Pylon is not going to matter in the least bit. And it looks like Slavi is going to go ahead and uh, put all four Zerglings and the drone on that Pylon. Is yeah. he going to get the cancel? Yeah, it'll be get canceled here in a second. There we Just go. Desro wanting to uh, be as annoying as possible for as long as possible. So it's uh, certainly a good move. We do have a Sentry coming out now, so a Sentry Expand is certainly still viable. Uh, we'll see if Desro decides to switch this up, though, and plop down a couple <coughs> more gates. Or if he decides here. to expand off of one gate. Interesting here that he's not mining off of the second gas. He did build the assimilator. Now he's putting one probe on that gas. So uh, his gas reserves haven't quite been built up all that much to make a ton of Sentries also has a rally set out for the first entry. Now, I'm, I'm really interested to see where he's going to go with the lack of gas. Now sending a couple more probes on it, so it's certainly possible he's going to go for that three-gate sentry expand still, but uh, yeah, we'll have to see. And uh, I like the rally, because rally points are very interesting. Yeah, players are starting to move off of the sentry expand a little bit. I know uh, players like Kibikaki have actually completely gotten away from it. They use a... He uses like um, a zealot aggression expand. Yeah, but it actually works really race. well. You do forge fast expand into double chrono boosted uh, gateways and you just get a free kill on a third because there's no way Zerk can hold it at that time in the game. Then you move over to double stargates. Now the question is just how does a Zerk player react after that? Because we saw it definitely had its weaknesses in uh, IPL3. Hmm. Well, it is going to be a three gate expand here. Um, it looks like the forces of Desra have destroyed that neutral supply depot, but Slavi K come, come in with a couple of Zerglings. He could get a oh, deny wow. on this There's Nexus. A lot of Zerglings coming in here, and, he, and it looks like it's going to overwhelm this Protoss force. At the very least, that Nexus is most likely going to go down. Yeah. I don't see Desro holding on to that, and that's a huge setback for our Protoss player. This is just two base uh, speedling basically all in. I mean, this is just endless waves of Zerglings making their way down right now. Uh, Roachhorn is being added, so we will have a uh, transition eventually to a Roachling all in. But until Slavic stops doing damage, there we go. I was going to say we aren't going to see any more oh drones. God. There finally are the first five drones coming out. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's an all-in. It's more like Roachling aggression. Uh, a lot of Zerg players are utilizing this kind of play style now rather than playing super passively. They're the ones bringing the hurt and pain to the Protoss player. Now, is the Nexus going to get delayed for a second time today? That would be so devastating. Force field's coming down here, but it looks like the Zerglings are still going to do enough damage to justify their cost. A lot of Zealots going to go down. Whoa! No! 
wow. all of the zealots surviving there. Take yeah. a look at the units lost for me, please, real quick. Let's see, okay, pretty 19 even. units lost. Yeah, pretty even because Desro lost those units early on, but in that last engagement, he actually did pretty well. Yeah, actually, those zealots have a little more staying power than I thought. Any roaches building now? Let's see, four roaches actually coming up. They're going to join the fight here in a bit as we have a forge being thrown into the front as well. Hmm. Well, that last battle certainly uh -oh. swinging things back into Desro's favor just a little bit. Five roaches, ten more links coming out now. Yeah, yeah. Now, Sabi K here going to be very aggressive with his opening forces here. Um, has stopped drone production at this point, and it's going to go right into all-out roaches and links. But with the forge coming up, and the forces already on the ground, I think Desro, if he starts to make some cannons right now, he should be okay, but we'll see. And uh, can we take a look at the... Oh, God, there's so, actually so many units. So you see that stream of red just making its way down? Mm -hmm. That's actually so many units right now. And uh, Desro really only has a token force at the moment. With the range capability of those roaches, it's going to be extremely difficult for Desro oh. just to even hold this. Desro using Chrono Boost on his Nexus to make probes right now, not what he wants to be using it on. He really needs forces right now on the ground, but he doesn't realize that a second wave of aggression is about to hit his front door. Now he's in Chrono Boost on plus one weapons. That's not even going to hit anytime soon. Uh, a sp one Photon Cannon at the front, but it's very much exposed to Roach is going to go ahead and engage the Photon Cannon in the orange, in the red. It is going to fall. A couple force fields dropping down as well. But it looks like Desro getting completely surrounded. But his sentries in the back are safe behind another pylon and the forge and more force fields. If Desro can hold off on here, then he should be in a good spot. But we don't even have round two coming in. And that's just making its way down right now. This could actually be very bad uh -huh. for Desro. With that second set of links making their way in, um, Slavi Slavic is going to be able to move through the forge pretty easily in a second. Two Photon Cannons are actually coming up, but we just have endless waves of speedlings being thrown in uh, now to complement these roaches. Oh, and oh he sneaks No, by. he no force fields! But Desro's still keeping his sentries alive here. This is one thing I've been kind of noting in this battle is he hasn't lost a single sentry yet. I don't think at least. So he's doing a good job of keeping those alive. He might be able to repel this Roche Force the entire time they have been using the Nexus as a beating bag, which uh, has actually been delaying Desro, uh, delaying Slavic just a little bit. The Nexus though is in the orange. It could fall to the red. Uh, the Roaches aren't able to Right, quite get in there, but a couple of Zerglings coming in now. The two Photon Cannons are up, and I think Desro is going to hold, guys. Yeah, this is, but he's wow. down to 37 supply. How many workers does he have left, if you don't mind? Oh, me the Nexus could go down. It's going to be so close. 66 HP, 21 HP, 6 HP, oh, and it drops. Oh, my God. That could... Okay, that... <laughs> Alright, no. well, well, let's take stock of what just happened. Let's see. Desro is up in workers, but uh, he is down a base. Slavic does have the much larger army at the moment, and it looks like Desro actually going to move over to um, I don't even think he's going to bother putting up another expansion here. He's just going to try and make a huge attack. But Slavic is actually going after his gold. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I think Slavi, uh, Slavic, after the uh, aggression, is now gearing up to play expansion. He's gearing up to play a macro game because he thinks that he's done enough damage, which he, you know, totally justified in that thought process. He really has done a lot of damage. Yeah, However, he really has. He never really joined up behind all that aggression, and, and at this true. point, we actually have a Twilight Council coming up from Desro, so Desro's going to possibly go into DTs here. In fact, I, I, I do believe it's going to be Dark Templar, as, you know, he doesn't have that many stalkers on the field. There it is. Yeah. Dark Templar Shrine coming up now, and uh, there is the classic catch-up maneuver for a Protoss player, because now we already see the uh, macro advantage of the second base kicking in for Slavic, as his economy is quite good at the moment. He also it does have uh, Evolution Chamber coming up. Can you take a look at the worker count for me one more time, please? All right, so that's going to be over 40 here whenever these new uh, workers end up finishing in just a second. And uh, go back to the production tab, please. Yeah, we have plus one missile attacks coming up along with layer tech. I think that, that, that Evo Chamber is more important because of the Spore Crawlers that are going to be thrown down yep. here. Because Slobby K, he knows that he's done damage, and anytime you do damage to Protoss player, you really have to beware of a potential Dark Templar switch. So uh, just throwing down the, the Evo Chamber, yeah, the plus one weapons is really nice, but I, you know, Kevin, I really like those Spore Crawlers. This is going to make sure that he doesn't lose to to uh, some kind of a comeback maneuver as the Dark Templars are. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we do have about 20 seconds left on the Dark Shrine before it ends up coming up, so mm -hmm. this could actually end up being bad for Desro because he's going to move in so. there, thinks he's reestablished two-base economy, could potentially deny base, and he's going to get up there and get completely shut down. However, Slavic has not moved off of his two-base quite yet. I assume mm -hmm. he's going to throw down an expansion sometime soon, but we haven't seen it yet. Gosh, there is a Dark Templar warping in right now, but there's no pylons in the map, so it has to make a very long journey. A second Templar missing the low ground there. <laughs> that sucks. And the Overseer is going to see the DT. Oh, no. Assuming, of course, Slavi K was actually, paying attention. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see here. Is he doing anything that would indicate that he has seen it? Moving Sporecrawler out of position. Not another oh, there's Overseer a G yet. from Desro. Oh, and Desro left the game.